Here he is, for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. All right, so an interesting stylistic clash here. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to take his opponent down and get off some of that patented ground and pound. Yes, and once he's on top, he starts to just gain control first. He does not try to rush to the next position because he understands whether or not he's in the guard, half guard, or side control, he can find ways to land big damage. In the side control, he does a really good job of going knee on belly, posturing his body all the way to the top, and just coming down with big punches, Boom, once he lands, he goes back and he secures. Right. Then he goes back to find another, another big strike. He does not waste energy just throwing little rabbit punches. Everything has to matter, as you've seen in some of the great ground and pound fighters right. you've ever seen, like Jack Hermanson, guy that beats you into the bottom of the octagon until you roll over and give up your neck to get submitted. Yeah, nothing pitter-patter about it. No. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, five losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Jake, the Celtic Kid, Matthews. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch gloves. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going to He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Throwing that jab, no good. Got clip with the right hand. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Trying to double up on that jab. 
All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Just missed with the left there. Oh, uppercut to the head. Just out of range with the big right hand. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just misses with that one. Slips. And both guys really throwing with authority. That's a big strike right there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fighting. This striker has come out swinging, and he's a very aggressive guy, but you gotta be careful, I would think, to not overextend yourself. Yeah, you would think you gotta slow down, but not this guy. This guy knows that he can secure finishes on the feet, or he can take it down to his back. But ideally for him, he wants to be knocking you guys out. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to paint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Big punch lands in the middle. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. And he landed the right hand there. Try to establish that jab. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Matthews gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Beautiful counter punch. Really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Look at the hip action that comes from him throwing that kick. These guys are going at it. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Ooh, big shot lands. We need to get a takedown to win the round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Counter punch is good by Jake Matthews. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good enough. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. What a punch. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Matthews gets lit up by that uppercut. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy to him. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Well, he's got the 
kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Good punch. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. There's the jab, there's another one. So the double jab is there by Jake Matthews. Just misses there with the left. Circling towards the left now. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, I'm an identical twin. Two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Double up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Just over three minutes to go in round two. <laughs> Unable to connect there. Just missed with that right hand. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, what a punch. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Flipped with a left hand counter. Again going back to the jab just out of range. Outstanding kick there by Matthews. Tags him with the uppercut. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but it doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. There it is. Take shot now. Big Take punch land. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Matthews' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swellings. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Oh, oh big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Matthews' shot is blocked. Beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice strike. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Seconds remain in the rack. Oh, well timed overhand there by Matthews. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. I mean, he's cut down size with these beautiful leg kicks.
All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, put their foot on the gas, and really start to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And the first evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Beautiful punch. Body attack, and it's blocked. Matthews gets touched by that leg kick attempt. That's a big hook. And now he lands a combination. We gotta fight, folks. Oh, big left. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Straight punch. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Now connects with the right. Punch is blocked. Ooh, what a punch. Matthews' lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Three minutes to go. Oh, uppercut lands. That punch no good. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Jake Matthews. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination there. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal. Nice. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Nice punch lands over the top. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. Can you see the evolution of the fight in front of us? He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, overhand to the dome. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Nice lead hook by Matthews. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away. And he's blocking and rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch lands. Tags him with a flush left. Lands to the body there. Oh, 
Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, you can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round DC a lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys lands on both sides of the octagon both guys fought great what a phenomenal round all right next round is underway you know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster so cardio is not going to be an issue here and for some fighters you know you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Ooh, blocks the shots. Lands the right hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. It's such a fast leg kick. They continue to exchange. Straight right hand, no good. Big body kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room go, are going to pay off. Matthews gets caught with that punch. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy go, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Nice punch, Lance. Right. Oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Matthews oh. Back to the feet. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Back and forth we go. Big leg kick land. Matthews gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Misses again with a right punch. Just misses with the jab there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land anywhere. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stung by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad. Oh, maybe the best strike he's thrown tonight. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut lane. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. You got him.
Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, he hurt Valley jab. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Another shot lands upstairs. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you're watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he misses with the left punch there. His opponent lands flush to the midsection. Swing and a big miss by Matthews. Unable to connect with the right. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Blocks the shot. Oh, big punch land. He's giving him so many different things right now. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh, straight right. Powerful leg kick lands. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Under three minutes remain in this fifth and final round. Nice move to punch. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just go every... Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 38 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brock Lesnar!
Judge, there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do 